I work as a research assistant at the uh, Center for Advanced Power Systems, uh, which is in Florida. It's an FSU facility or FSU lab uh, that's basically uh, centered around uh, power system research. And uh, so we have a lot of good capabilities in terms of high voltage uh, research. And so we do this experiment, these types of experiments known as uh, hardware in the loop, which incorporates uh, something that we call a real time simulator, uh, where we can model software, uh, we can build software models for certain networks, just electrical networks, and then we can connect the physical hardware to that simulator so we can test it under realistic conditions. So our labs are actually are very known for this type of experiment. And so uh, my internship was at the National Renewable Energy Lab and they basically know that we are one of the leading facilities in that sort of experiment. And they had a project that they were working on uh, which included this type of experiments and they needed some sort of an expertise uh, they had like some time limitations and stuff like that, so they needed someone to go and just uh, work on it. Who knows who what he's doing mm -hmm. instead of having some researchers from their labs to learn the whole thing and then do the experiment. So they kind of reached out for our center and asked for uh, someone who can do this job. And then uh, my advisor uh, he nominated me for this position. So typically, I used to get to work around 7 a.m. and uh, leave around 6 p.m. So it was kind of like a long day, but uh, it was very interesting. Like there was not, there was never a dull day there. Uh, so typically, I used to do like some, because our work is kind of divided between theoretical, doing some research and reading what other people are working on and how can we use other people's works and come up with new theories and stuff like that. At the same time, we had some experimental work. Uh, so I guess that most of the day was spread out between these two, uh, uh, two between theoretical work and, and uh, practical work. PhD candidates or PhD students, we're, we basically have two major options in our career path, either go to academia or go to more research and industry. So the internship at a national lab, because their work is kind of halfway between the two of them, so we had the research part, uh, uh, we had we had a little bit some contact with some academics, because uh, there were some professors from close by universities there who were doing some experiments with the lab. And uh, there were a lot of industry partners who also came to that lab to uh, basically test their systems, test their equipments, and do some more research there. So uh, it kind of gave me like a flavor of each of, of all the different uh, aspects or all the different options that we have as, as PhD candidates. Takeaways is that. Uh, I guess the, the major thing is uh, money plays a, lot, a big role in, in research, so a lot of times there are some really good ideas that for a researcher would be very interesting to, to implement and to, uh, to create just because of how interesting the idea is or how interesting the problem is. But if you can't really sell that idea to certain industries, to certain utilities, it's very hard to get funding and to get uh, to get basically the money to implement these ideas that you have. So, I guess in academia we were taught to to think theoretically, and we're not very much taught to think practically. And in terms of practicality of of theories, we need to always uh, keep in mind that, you know, if, if I'm working on something, then I need to figure out a way of eventually sell this thing to an industry or to a uh, utility so that so that it has some practical use, uh, I guess, at least from engineering perspective, because not because our work is not strictly, uh, it's not like pure science work. So, uh, so yeah, basically how to communicate with business folks, how you, to communicate these complex ideas to someone who is not really in the field that we're working in. Because uh, eventually a lot of the people who make decisions on 
whether this thing is useful or not are people who are non-engineers or non-scientists uh, who care most about, you know, is this going to make me some profit or is this useful for me, is this not useful for me. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's talking basically to communicating our ideas in a non-technical way. That was a major, uh, major thing that I learned from this internship.